journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. I've been down almost 21 years, and I've seen a lot of conflict throughout the years. We wanted as, as close to a nonviolent process as we could find. We believe that mediation was one of those processes. We believe stronger communication skills and better listening were the keys to finding that, that level of peace, that alternative to violence. For me, I've always been angry. So Prison of Peace taught me how to just listen, take out what I'm feeling and making up my response before I've even gotten to that point and just listen and reflect on what that person's had to say. Reflecting is when you state back to somebody in your own words what it is that you got from what they said. I learned to listen better. I learned to direct a conversation. I didn't realize how powerful listening could be in a conversation. I have learned how to sit and listen to what other people has to say without making judgments. Sometimes we have narrow tunnel vision and we look at things from our perspective and that's not how you do it. You have to empathize with others. Put yourself in their shoes. With me learning how to manage my strong emotions, when I calm myself down, it doesn't affect the other person I'm speaking with. Prison of Peace taught me everything that it seems like nobody else wanted to teach me. You know, they would always tell me I had to communicate better. I had to control my, you know, self. I had to, um, you know, get a grip. And I had to, you know, don't let my emotions get the best of me. But nobody taught me how to do that. Having the skills to actually listen brings peace about. And you can't, you can't change that. Once you know it and you got it and you share it, you can't take it back and it spreads like wildflowers. In peace circles, you're in a safe environment and you're in agreement to being there, so it kind of gives you a, um, a closeness to the people that you're talking with, even if they can be, you know, even if they are strangers, but um, you develop a relationship with people around you that you wouldn't have had any other way. I think that if I had learned this communication skills, the restorative justice before I ever hit prison, I would have been a more productive or I could have seen things better. Accepting what you've done, how you've hurt people, how you've hurt them, um, taking responsibility for it. And once you do that, then you can start coming back, you know, to humanity. I never knew what insight or aware meant until I learned restorative justice. And I was just like really amazed to actually know the truth and what I can give back and why I'm giving back. Ultimately, it's not about going home. It's not about anything other than the lies that you've hurt. It's about It's about making amends to the people that you've hurt, to the lives that you've forever altered. You could stand alone and be okay. And sometimes you gotta be held accountable for what you've done. You know, it's like the hardest thing to look at and do. And once you get past that, transition becomes beautiful. And I could look at myself in the mirror because I couldn't look at myself before because I didn't know who I was. When I see myself as a peacemaker, maker, I feel myself that I am worthwhile. I am somebody. I'm not just an inmate in prison for the rest of their life. No matter what skill you learn in Prison of Peace, you will use it in every other class that you facilitate, in every other class you attend, in every other kind of work that you do, in every interaction you have with some of the very intense interactions that we have here uh, with other inmates and with staff. So other facilitators that do this and they do other classes, they take it with them. They, they implement Prison of Peace and everything. It's that Prison of Peace has prepared me to deal with everybody and anybody. To live a life of service here, it feels like maybe, whew, it feels so good. It feel, makes me happy inside, it makes me smile, keeps my spirit alive. Help us make a difference.